Mothers and fathers from a West Texas polygamist group arrived at court today thinking this would kick off a homecoming for their children. There was opportunity today for relief in this. And it was not granted. Willie Jessup, a member of the sect, expressed frustration. A lower court judge did not sign an order to bring more than 400 children currently in state custody back home. The Texas Supreme Court ruled the kids must return to their parents, saying Child Protective Services overstepped its bounds in seizing them. The judge left the court in a total disarray of everyone asking what next. But the judge in the case wants to restrict the parents' movement out of the state. She also required signatures from 38 parents involved in the legal dispute before she'd move forward. So that it would have been absolutely appropriate to sign something that would have the children home for the weekend. The judge didn't sign any order, and lawyers for some of the parents and children of this polygamous group are now saying they may go to a higher court to start the whole process of reunification. And we continue to be optimistic that we will be able to work within the system to ensure that these children are peacefully and lawfully back with their parents sooner rather than later. In a raid back in April, child welfare authorities took the children from the Yearning for Zion Ranch in El Dorado, Texas, home to the polygamous group. Investigators believe the group has a culture that encourages grown men to have sex with underage girls and impregnate them. Authorities acted on a phone tip purportedly from a 16-year-old girl in the ranch. She claimed her middle-aged husband beat and abused her. The girl has never been found. Investigators are looking to see if it was all a hoax. The members of the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints deny the allegations. The sect broke away from the Mormon church more than 100 years ago when the church renounced polygamy. The children are in foster homes scattered around Texas. In some cases, siblings are hundreds of miles apart. It's now unclear when or how their journey home will begin. John Moe, the Associated Press, San Angelo, Texas.